Hi there, Paul Dombowski from Liberty Street Software. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up our Asset Manager Enterprise Asset Tracking Software. Now, perhaps you've downloaded the program as a demo, or you've actually bought the program and installed it. After you've installed, you're going to see an icon for Asset Manager Enterprise 15. Now, we can't use it till we set up a SQL Server database. So, if you've already got SQL Server installed in your uh, organization, you simply need to watch further, and you'll Get, receive instructions on how to set up this database for Asset Manage. If you don't have SQL Server, you can easily download the free edition. There's an Express edition. Uh, as of this um, video, there's the latest is uh, SQL Server 2014 Express edition. So if you just Google that, you'll see you'll be taken to a site where you can actually download it. Be sure to download the management tools as well. That's also an option, free management tools. So anyway, we've already done that. And uh, we're using Windows 8.1 here, so your screen could look very different than this. But we've got the SQL Server 2014 Management Studio downloaded and installed. So we're going to run that. Now take note of this server name. This is going to come into play later on when you set up the ODBC data source. And as we note here, it's HPNV backslash Liberty Street. Make sure you don't put in forward slash by accident. So connect. And we've basically got an empty SQL Server instance uh, with this default system ba databases. We're going to set up the Asset Managed database now. So to do that, uh, first of all, let me go back and uh, explain something. When you install the program under the C program files, Asset Manage folder, you're going to see an upsized directory. And here you've got two. Uh, files, an MDF file and a log file. You basically need to copy and paste those someplace else, uh, like a public documents, uh, uh, any folder that's read-write uh, capable, because under the program files for most versions of Windows, uh, files are uh, default to read only under this, if they're installed under the program files folder. So we've already done that and, and copied and pasted the uh, two files I named into the public documents folder. So go back to Management Studio. We're going to right mouse click on Databases and select the Attach command. Now in here, we're going to click on the Add button. And as I showed previously, under the Users Public Documents, we copied and pasted the MDF file. Now you can copy and paste the MDF, MDF file to any directory, which is read and write capable on your machine. So this is just a suggestion. So we clicked on OK. Click on OK again. Now the, uh, as you see here, the database has been imported or attached. Uh, so if we expand that, we'll see the tables that are used by the software. We've got the assets table, which contains all the assets, categories, m locations. So can exit here. Now the next step is to set up an ODBC data source and to do that again it's what you see in your machine could look very different than this but we're going to use uh, an ODBC data source uh, wizard and since our application is 32-bit we're going to use the 32-bit edition so we run that. Now we're going to be set up a, setting up a system DSN so we click on the system DSN tab click on add and it's asking us for the driver to use. So for SQL Server 2014, there's this, the simple SQL Server driver, which with a date stamp of, in this instance, uh, October of uh, 2014. So we're going to select that one and finish. Now the next step is to give the data source or DSN a name. We're going to call it Asset Manage. Now here, remember, we needed to uh, put, sorry, we needed to put in the name of the uh, server, and it was HPNV backslash Liberty Street. Click on Next. Now, this is very important. Make sure you change the default database to the one, the Asset Manage database you set up. So, in this case, it's called Asset Manage 2010. If you don't do that, you're going to have problems. So we did that, clicked on Next, Finish, and test the data source. 
test completed successfully so that means the program should be able to access it so click on OK now we're going to run the program so this, this is just a demo so we uh, uh, clicked on continue trial um, so under machine data source we have the DSN that we we created previously. We're going to select that, click OK, and now the program is going to run properly. And as you as you no doubt noticed, the database is empty. So if we were ju to just add an asset. So um, that's how to set up uh, Asset Manager Enterprise, and from now on the program should work fine. So if at some point you need to change the DSN they're using, you can, there's a command here called open another database, which will pretty much null out the connection string. So the next time you run the program, you could use another, uh, choose another DSN. Okay, that's it for now. If you have any questions, you can contact our tech support. Thank you very much.